Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm a year three student and I'd like to share the stories of foreign domestic helpers in Hong Kong. Yay! Yay! In this video, I've asked the Filipino domestic helper in Hong Kong about their migration stories. Uh, what was your college background? Medical secretary. So do you have your own family in the Philippines? Yes. And uh, how often do you send money back home? Or what is the percentage of your... 70%. Okay, so how many years have you been working in Hong Kong? Almost 20 years. And uh, why did you go to Hong Kong to become a foreign domestic helper? Because the salary is good. So, what are the things that uh, attract you to come to Hong Kong? Like the salary, working environment? Salary, the salary is high and then the place is good and the government is good. Okay. Uh, what were your sacrifices when you uh, came to Hong Kong? Like, what did you have to sacrifice for? I didn't see my children. I didn't take my own children. What What do you think can the government, the Philippine government and Hong Kong government do to uh, make your condition or make your condition as a foreign domestic helper here in Hong Kong better? Oh, good salary, uh, less in working hours. What's your uh, college background? Um, I graduated I, um, Miss Criminology. <laughs> so, uh, like you tried to be like, you tried to apply for police, right? Yeah, I, I really did. Like, yeah, but I was so discouraged. So, being a domestic helper is that really was my choice. But because I was so discouraged, so I think like, you, you, yeah, you. <laughs> that okay. pushed me to come here. Okay. So, uh, did you do you have your own family in the Philippines? Uh, no, no. Uh, but you're supporting your yeah, my parents. parents and. Uh, sibling. So, um, how often do you send ba money back home, or what's the percentage that you send? Like, uh, basically every month, and like mostly seventy percent. All right. So, how many years have you been working in Hong Kong? Um, I've been working here for eight years and eight months, three months. All right. So, have you worked outside the Philippines before, yeah, apart from? Yeah, I worked in Lebanon for three years and three months, and. It's not really a good experience there. It's really a bad experience. <laughs> so, like, if you would wait, was your experience in Lebanon like worse or better than Hong Kong? Um, I think here is much better because there I didn't have my day off actually for three years. Uh, what pushed you to uh, like become a foreign domestic helper in Hong Kong? Uh, well, when. And I went to Manila and I see like your supplier like well the salary in Hong Kong is good than the salary in the Philippines so like I think I, I can I, I will come here for because they have a good salary like that. Okay, so uh, what makes Hong Kong attractive like apart from salary? Is it like close? Yeah, uh, for me it's attractive. Uh, for me like it's really quite near home and like you can come back anytime like in the Philippines. All right. So, uh, did you ex uh, do you have any bad experience uh, in Hong Kong as a domestic helper? Like oh, any yeah, like like the un all the unfairness. I think <laughs> it's really a bad experience, but it's, it's you know like it's okay. <laughs> uh, like, can you name us an example? Like, uh, well, I mean, it comes to food, it comes to treatment, like that. Uh, like, you are not really like. Part of the family that's. Yeah. Right, so there's like an, an equal treatment between yeah, your yeah. employer and you. Yeah. Alright, so uh, what were the sacrifices you made when you uh, choose oh, to yeah. come here? You, know, you need to leave your family, like, you, mean you need to like take care of other people instead of your family. Alright, so. Uh, what, can, what do you think can the Philippine and Hong Kong government do to? Make your conditions uh, better. Oh, yeah, I think like well, the government should you know like know that uh, that the Mr. Helper needs rest too, and then like 
I think we have to take an action for like long hours of work and like the unfairness, like the unfairness of treatment when it comes to job. Like, well, I think some people are suffering really from lack of food, and I think they need some action of that. I think there's so much more to say and do to help migrant workers to have the basic needs they need. They have put up so much for this job, yet they lack the necessary things to survive and even feel comfortable in a foreign place. Well, this is just a glimpse of the impacts of globalization as a result of migration of workers from different places. Yet I hope this sparks a motivation to increasingly be aware of the existence and the value of their most valuable contribution to their receiving countries and most importantly to their homeland and families back home.